Hi, hello. This is Anup here. Today we are going to talk about Copilot for Windows. This is my first experience with Copilot. So I'm going to analyze some of the tasks, how Copilot is able to help me as an AI companion for me. And there are some things which application owners need to do to integrate with Copilot. And we also need to understand that Copilot is still in preview when I recorded this video. So it is always improving. So don't skip the video. Let's go ahead and check this out. Let's look at Copilot for Windows. This is Copilot for Windows. This is the icon as you can see over here. This is nothing but AI companion for Windows. So what does that mean? That means my expectation at least this companion would be able to help me to reduce my work, help me to understand the context and work for me as assistant. So that is companion for me. Let's look at this and check whether Copilot for Windows is doing that or not. I'm going to click on this and that gives me this. It says Copilot preview and preview bar is here. It says it is part of Bing chat. If you have logged in to this laptop with your corporate ID, then Copilot is going to be part of Bing chat enterprise or Microsoft 365 copilot but for me on this mission i have logged in with my local account so this is part of normal bing chat this is not associated with bing chat for enterprise or copilot for microsoft 365 there are three options over here as you can see similar to any other bing chat scenarios i prefer more precise because i want it to be accurate wherever possible these are the things i can see over here here are some things copilot can help you with descend in a case turn on do not disturb copilot uses ai to respond so mistakes are possible send the feedback that is important and microsoft is openly saying that copilot is not perfect yet if you look at details of copilot you can see that copilot in windows is currently available as a preview copilot in windows with the help of bing chat provides you with centralized ai assistance directly from your windows device copilot in windows uses your data to help formulate relevant responses to your requests okay and here is the important part the words that you type speak when chatting with copilot in windows can be the page that you are looking at in microsoft edge because it is your data you want to know what copilot in windows does with that data so for example the data can be words that you type or speak when chatting with copilot in windows or can be page that you are looking at in microsoft edge it stores this chat history so you can see your copilot for windows chat history and bing chat history at one place so it is basically a shortcut for bing chat i would say this icon is a shortcut for bing chat over here maybe that is the simplest way of defining copilot for windows at this point of time maybe not accurate because bing chat cannot turn on do not disturb mode on your device but you can do it from copilot for windows this is important if you haven't copilot in windows ask for your permission to use the page content of your active tab in microsoft edge to provide its response you can change the permissions later by going to settings in copilot if you click on three dots over here this is the settings option if you log into a device with school or work account it is going to use bing chat for enterprise microsoft 365 copilot now let's try to do some simple tasks i clicked on turn on do not disturb and now it is giving me option to select do not disturb mode if i click on yes it will automatically disable the notification because we will be in a do not disturb mode so let's do that i have turned on do not 
disturb mode for you this is the actual use of ai companion it helped me to turn on do not disturb mode as you can see over here now disable do not disturb mode turning off do not disturb mode allows notification would you like to turn it off yes so it was turned on and now it got turned off so that is the actual ai companion which i want now open microsoft paint application for me i'm asking to open the microsoft paint application and you can see it says do you want to open it i'm clicking on yes and microsoft paint application got opened let's close ms paint application i'm sorry i can help only okay that's interesting it says i can only open the applications at this point of time cannot close this application that's interesting maybe that is the future version of copilot when it learns more about applications windows devices it will be able to close the application for us okay so let's start notepad app i'm clicking on yes and the notepad app got opened now let's look at some more interesting scenarios you can add an image let's try to upload an image i am asking microsoft copilot or copilot for windows to create a better version of the existing logo now it is creating images for me it created images for me from this logo how to manage how to manage hp okay manage devices okay interesting types of logos it had created that's interesting isn't it so what it did is basically it did take a look at the text inside the picture and try to make similar logos okay that's interesting i'm asking copilot to create a better version of this feature image let's see how this goes it is generating the image for us now well it did create images but i don't think it is relevant maybe maybe we need to provide more detailed explanation to get better version of image now let's go to another set of scenarios i'm going to use the microphone can you create a logo for microsoft in tune now i did use voice over here to create this text and microsoft i'll try is, to create that microsoft is providing the replay in voice when you try to use voice and voice to text is stored in the chat but actual voice is not stored anywhere in microsoft services okay microsoft intune logos are here <laughs> that's interesting very nice thank you for creating the logos but i need more precise logos for microsoft intune and microsoft intune should be mentioned in those logos okay that was also a text these are the logos that copilot for windows came up with now let's check microsoft intune modern workplace management i don't understand this one simply some something simplify modern workplace management that is intune logo and this is another intune logo and t is capital for everything okay interesting so these are the logos which being chat or microsoft copilot for windows created for us okay now let's go to more complex scenarios such as i'm asking to launch wondershare filmora application installed on this laptop let's see how this goes i'm sorry but i can't assist with that that is what it says hmm, interesting why application vendors need to work on copilot enablement to integrate their applications with copilot then copilot can help end users with those applications i tried this before recording this video video editing software in this laptop and it says 
okay these are the video editing softwares etc and which are the video editing softwares installed on this windows 11 laptop video editing software installed on this laptop are clipcham office 365 powerpoint photos so it is not detecting the applications which is installed on this particular device that is wondershare filmora and then i am asking copilot to launch wondershare filmora again the spelling is incorrect launch spelling and it says sorry wondershare filmora is not installed that is not accurate it is installed and it is asking me to use clipchamp instead of filmora clipchamp or some other applications so microsoft ecosystem is integrated with copilot it knows about microsoft applications better and it doesn't know much about third party applications at this point of time so that was the quick overview of copilot for windows this is the first time i'm trying the copilot for windows on this particular device thank you all for watching see you around bye bye take care